Now, of course, both of those records are from the 2008-2009 season, but I've updated the rosters for this year. Number one, Gonzaga. Number one overall seed versus 16 seed, Georgia State. Let's tip this thing off. And, of course, Gonzaga wins the tip to start this game. For some reason, they had Bolton as the star watch. <laughs> Moving the ball around. Bolton for three. Oh, no, it was a two. It was just a deep two. He knocks it down. Gonzaga jumps out to an early 2-0 lead. Let's see if Georgia State can respond. And a foul committed by Chet Holmgren. Mark Few is furious. At the line, Corey Allen, apparently a mathematics major. Misses the first one. Not a good look for a guard to be missing free throws this early. Knocked down the second one, though, making it a 2-1 to -one game here. Potential top three overall pick. Potential number one overall pick with Chet Holmgren. Carrying up the ball right now. Of course, we got Bill Raffer and Gus Johnson on commentary as always. Getting it to go, Gonzaga now jumping out to a 4 1 lead. This one's probably going to be a murder. Moving the ball around, looking down low, rising, firing, doesn't connect. Gonzaga looking to extend this lead. And, but they commit a turnover there. Uh-oh. Georgia State comes up with it. Over a minute gone in this first half. Let's see what Georgia State can do. They take the three. Splash! Okay, Georgia State. Tying it up at four. Okay. Holmgren with it. Little hop set contact. No foul call. He misses the shot. Georgia State with a chance to take the lead here. I thought it was going to be a murder, but maybe Georgia State might hang in this one. Looking down low. Heading to the line. Foul on Chet Holmgren. That's his second foul. Already getting subbed out. Two fouls on Holmgren. Jalen Thomas at the line, apparently a communications major. Knocks down the first one. Georgia State takes the lead over Gonzaga here very early on. Knocks down the second one, making it a 6-4 to four lead for Georgia State. All right, George, let's see how Gonzaga can respond over to Drew Timmy. One of the preseason player of the years. He is on the final watch list for it. A little jab step by Bolton. To Nemhard for three. Splash! And Drew Nemhard gives Gonzaga the lead with a splash. 2.45 to go here in this first half. Rising, firing. Georgia State misses there. Drew Timmy comes up with the rebound. Nem hard with it. Looking down low to Timmy, a little hop step. Woo! Double pump. Oh, what a what a rebound by Strother. <laughs> Another rebound. Gonzaga puts it up and in on the third chance opportunity. Drew Timmy was getting hyped right there if you saw him. Gonzaga back out to a 9-6 lead. Surviving a little scare from Georgia State. Let's see if Georgia State can respond. For three, Georgia State doesn't connect, but they get the offensive rebound. They put it back up and in. 
Drew to, or no, that was number 14 over there. Drew Timmy with it now. Passes to Bolton. Knocks it down. 11 to 8 now. Gonzaga with the three point lead. Mark Few saying they're doing a great job making sure they stay focused. On the left side. Looking down low. In the post. Nice little post move for Georgia State. Okay. Jalen Thomas with six points already for Georgia State. Okay. Over in the corner, that's Timmy with it. Looking down low to Nemhard, a little spin move. Gets it to go with the left. Okay. This is where the talent of Gonzaga is just too overwhelming. One minute to go in this first half. It's still a pretty close game. Gonzaga and Georgia State here early on for three. Splash! Georgia State sticking with Gonzaga here very early on. 13 to 13. Looking down low to Nemhard. He puts it up. Oh, no, that was Strother, I think. He puts it up and in, giving Gonzaga the 15 to 13 lead. Now they're slapping the court. They want to get a stop here on defense driving. Oh, Georgia State finishing, though, making it 15 all. Both teams shooting pretty well. Gonzaga 7 for 11. Georgia State 5 of 8. 15 seconds to go. Nemhard. Deep two, he knocks it down. Andrew Nimhard with seven points on perfect shooting so far. 17 to 15 here early on driving. Contact, no foul called. And Zaga comes up with the rebound, full court shot. And it falls short. So Georgia State hanging with Gonzaga here very early on. 17 to 15. Yeah, both teams shooting really well. 56% for Georgia State, 62% for Gonzaga. A little spin move there by number 14 during the halftime. Jalen Thomas with six, Nimhard with seven. Leading the team in scoring, Thomas and Bolton with the rebounds and assist leaders. The center that came in, he's leading the team in assists. But now Holmgren is, has checked back in for the Bulldogs. Bringing the double, looking down low, Timmy. Good defense, coming up with the rebound. Now on the fast break, let's see if Gonzaga opens it up here in the second half. Timmy's been kind of non-existent on offense here in this first half. Almost a turnover, Holmgren. Knocks it down from the elbow. Chet Holmgren. Georgia State moving the ball around, taking a deep two. Doesn't connect. Drew Timmy comes up with the rebound. This is probably where Gonzaga starts to pull away a little bit. A minute gone here in this first half. And a turnover, though, committed by Gonzaga. Lazy pass. On the fast break, Georgia State will reverse layup ball oh, hit the bottom of the rim. Presentation at the rim. He made himself bigger by extending his arms. Driving. Nice pass. Holmgren backing his man down, back out to Swather. Gonzaga destroying Georgia State in the rebounding battle. A little too hard there for Chet Holmgren. Gonzaga shooting a lot better than Georgia State, but Georgia State has been getting to the foul line. That's how they've been sticking in it. Over in the corner. Back out at the top of the key. Looking down low. Good ball movement here by Georgia State. Oh, it gets rejected, though, by Drew Timmy. Big stop there on defense for the Bulldogs. Nemhard for three. Doesn't connect. Georgia State starting to, or not, <laughs> Gonzaga starting to go cold. Georgia State making a little comeback here. They just need to get points on the board. They haven't scored, and they turn the ball over there as well. In transition, finding Swather. Oh, he misses the shot, but Holmgren's right there to clean up the mess. He puts it up and in. Georgia State, as you see, has not scored in almost three minutes of action now. 21-15. to 15. Looking down low. 
Good pass down low. He puts it up and in. I feel like every time that little scoreless thing comes up, the team that it hasn't scored in a while ends up scoring. Gotta love the AI on, on NCAA Basketball 10. Looking down low to Nemhard. Ooh, good defense by Georgia State there. Just better offense by Nemhard. 23 to 17, Gonzaga starting to open it up a little bit. Just over two minutes to go in this game. Georgia State looking down low, fading away. Oh, nope, it does not fall. Gonzaga looking to extend this lead even further. Bolton with it. Looking down low to Holmgren. Nice move. Good take. Good finish. 25-17. Yeah, Gonzaga starting to pull away here on a 10-2 run since it was tied at 15. Shot Georgia State does not fall yet. Georgia State's going cold at the very wrong time. Only scoring two points here in the second half so far. Looking down low to Timmy. Foul and what a surplus shot for Drew Timmy. Okay. What a shot there for Mr. Timmy. At the line, four points on two of three shooting for him so far. He's typically really good from the charity strike. I think that knocks down the shot. Completing the end one. 28-17 now. And they're bringing the double. Oh, they almost came up with the turnover too. Oh, good take though by Georgia State. 28 to 19. Let's see if Gonzaga tries to extend the lead here. And what Georgia State, why are you fouling? There's literally no point in fouling right now. You're down by nine with a minute to go. You're just extending this video link. Look at that player comparison. Andrew Nemhard with nine points. Jalen Thomas, he had six points very early on, just doing nothing really in the last like seven or eight minutes of the game. Of course, now we're doing all the fouling at the end of the game. They get it to Holmgren. Almost commit a turnover. It's going to stay down here, though. Gonzaga ball. Assuming they'll pass it to Nemhard. Oh, no, they pass it to Timmy, and they commit a turnover. Now Georgia State calls a timeout. What is happening here? All right, coming out of the timeout, let's see what Georgia State drew up. The big guy taking the three. Does not connect, and now they're going to go continue to play the fouling game. Maybe they'll come up with another steal. You never know. First foul on Justin Roberts. Gonzaga fans chanting to warm up the bus. 51 seconds to go in this one. At the foul line, solid shooter. Bolton gets the road to fall. Five points on two of three shooting. Rasir Bolton looking to make this an 11 point lead. Knocks it down, 30 to 19. And Georgia State calls a timeout. And the timeout, All right, coming out of the timeout, let's see what Georgia State drew up. Can they cut the deficit to single digits? Taking a while here. The center for three. Yeah, I don't know why they took that shot. Now they're fine. Oh, nope, I thought they were going to call off the dogs. Now they're fouling. We have all the substitutes in the game, yet Georgia State still wants to foul. Hopefully they don't call a timeout. We want to get this video over with. Knocks down the first free throw. 39.6 seconds left. Gonzaga up 31 to 19. Knocks down the second one as well. 32 to 19. Surviving a scare because, I mean, Georgia State was tied with them at 15 right near the end of the first half. Just Gonzaga's outscored them, what, 15 to 4 here in the second half? 15 to 6 now. Please don't fail. It's an 11 point game with 30 seconds left. They just wanted to cover the live spread. 
About 20 seconds left to go in this game. Gonzaga gonna walk out of here with a W. Avoid a 16 over one upset. It's only happened one time in the history of the NCAA tournament. Back in 2018, UMBC over Virginia, but it's not happening here. Gonzaga is gonna walk out of here with the first round win. Drew Timmy, winning player of the game with five points and four rebounds. Mark you shaking the hand of the Georgia State coach right there, talking things over. Well, there we have it, Gonzaga winning 32 to 21 over Georgia State. Taking a look here at the stats, nobody really cares about the Georgia State stats. So for Gonzaga, Chet Holmgren with six. Drew Timmy with five, Nemhard with nine, Strother with two, and then Bolton with six. So there we have it. Gonzaga walking out of there with the W. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all later.